what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2017 nissan rogue and today i'm going to show you how to change this little uh, ac actuator this is actually the one for the driver's side because the customer is complaining um cold is coming out from this side all the time and well on the other side you can uh they see they can switch it fine he switches from uh heat i mean from from hot to cold without problem but this one is stuck in the um cold position so right now it's cold outside and it's rainy so they definitely need the heat on this car so today i'm going to show you how to fix this problem so usually the problem is this actuator like i said but where's located well that actuator is located down here uh, the only problem is that it's obstructed by this plastic and also the pedal um, for that we need to remove this pedal the bracket and this to actually remove the <clears throat> the actuator so it's gonna take us some time and we have to remove this this usually just pops right here we need to remove this cover right here and well I'm gonna start disassembling this side so you can see more clearly when I remove this I'm gonna show you uh, in detail how to replace that actuator all right guys so stay tuned and let's start working on this car all right guys so as you can see here I already took this uh, piece apart uh, basically you only have these connections right here you're gonna have the TLC connection you can pop this off by pressing the tabs on the side and pull it pull it up uh, same thing with this it has tabs on the sides and well you only have to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the bracket for the hood and still has to stick around pretty nice so here you can see very clearly and the motor is actually right here most people think it's the actuator right there the the yellow one the kind of yellow with orange that one so basically that's not the actuator you need to replace that's the one that controls the beds and this one is the one that actually controls the temperature on this side for the driver's side so to take the to take that actuator off as you can see we have a, a screwdriver you don't need actually you don't actually need like a special socket on it just a Phillips screwdriver and we have to take this piece off because it's on the way I already took one of the bolts out because the first time I checked it I was trying to remove it but then I realized that it was kind of complicated so I need to remove this plastic and like I said this bracket right here and I believe you're gonna need a 15 millimeter uh, deep socket right there and we need to remove um, I think pretty much it that's the only thing oh and release the connections so yeah let me start removing this bracket first and then we're gonna move on and remove the plastic cover on this thing all right all right guys so I was actually wrong about this bracket well if you want and you feel more comfortable removing this bracket you can remove it but there's actually no need to remove that because look what I did. I dropped this plastic from the top. I don't know if you can see, see if this thing focus. But I just dropped it a little bit enough so I can see the other screw at the bottom. As you can see. So if I drop this, you see the screw right there. So this is enough space to actually take the motor out. Let me just bring my screwdriver and see. Let me check really quick. And yeah, actually, yeah, that's pretty close. So I'm gonna try this way. And if it works, then this is the best way to actually remove that actuator and no need to remove this bracket because it's gonna be more work. And well, we don't wanna work a lot of time here. So we just wanna do this job quick. And let me try to remove that and I'll let you know what's the outcome. All right guys, so as you can see here, I have the motor out and well, came out pretty nice. 
you don't really have to remove the whole bracket so if you see other videos then well this is probably the best way to remove this actuator so to remove it just uh, hold the tab on the side right here is this one I'm gonna press it hopefully it's that one let me see and it's pretty tight so I'm gonna have to use my both my two hands so I'm gonna stop recording and we'll see all right so as you can see here I have the motor out and well actually this tab it's a little bit tight so I would recommend you to use a little pick like this because I actually use this thing to pick this off right here I don't know if you can see this thing is kind of hard to focus but I use this to remove the clip from the top of this plastic right here pop it off so I'll recommend you to use something like this because you're gonna need it and also use the same pick to remove the the locking mechanism I mean the the locking tab on this thing which is kind of hard to push it in with the hand so yeah so now we're going to put the new one in but make sure the key is off otherwise it's gonna stop uh, start spinning yeah it's not spinning right now but you want to avoid that just don't open the the um the switch if this thing is outside don't open it because it's gonna go out of calibration so now we just have to put it back in place and well we have to guess in what position the the hole in I think it will fit either way because it doesn't have like a really exact position to put it in so as you can see it has an hexagonal shape so pretty much it will fit anywhere just wiggle it and work it in and once I install this, well, I'm gonna test it and make sure everything works. All right guys, so the actuator is already installed in place. This is the old one. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the core. I'm gonna let it warm up. And once it warms up, then we will know for sure if that problem is fixed or not, All right? So I'll keep you posted right now. All right guys, so it worked. The actuator is working fine. It's already it's already getting heat here. So before it was always stuck in the cold position. So I'm gonna switch it to cold right now. And I'm gonna feel if it's any change. Uh, yeah, you can feel cold right now. The AC is on right now. Actually it's it's on. Oh yeah, that's cold. Yeah. Pretty good. Now let's turn it back all the way to the hot position and let's feel the change and yeah working fine we have heat woohoo all right guys so this will be pretty much the end of the video please if you like the video guys subscribe to the channel comment down below turn notifications on and i will see you on the next episode jp fix up bye Silhouette. I'm getting stronger step by step